We're now in the building where we were going to assemble all the prototype cars. I think you get an idea of the scale of the project, of how thoroughly we went into it. All the innovation, the different approach. Fantastic result for all that hard work. This is the first whole car that we made. It had a lot of interesting features. For example, no door handles. You slipped your hand under here to open the door. It's got the huge wheels. The reason for having big wheels is that you get lower rolling resistance and greater comfort. The other interesting thing is the windscreen. It's an incredibly shallow angle. It's all about the interior and the climate inside. So we did the heating and cooling by other means. Here's the charge point. Oh, and all the controls are on the steering wheel. There are no things to fiddle around with and distract you. Everything is here. It's a brilliant car, very special features by a very intelligent, hard-working team. The Dyson, in the present time, just simply wasn't commercially above. It's a, it's a great shame. It's probably the best way of putting it. Since Dyson invented this cordless vacuum format, they've improved it relentlessly. Today, this hyperdymia motor spins up to 125,000 RPM to deliver twice the suction of any cordless vacuum. Carbon fiber filaments and a motor inside the brush bar capture the finest dust. Now, dynamic load sensing intelligently senses different floor types and automatically adapts suction power to optimize cleaning and runtime for the deepest cleaning everywhere. Pioneered and patented, only a Dyson works like a Dyson. Now also available in larger format. We've put a dual cyclone here, replacing the paper bag. Yeah. And the advantage of that mm. is that you don't have a bag to clog. 
And as a result, you get three times the performance that you do with a normal vacuum cleaner. And cleaner, I suppose. Yes, and also it's over twice as clean at half a micron, small do you size want to particles. Tell you, Charlotte, yes, see how I'll show it you. Forms. Will it pick anything up? Yes, it will pick up nails and glass and dust, and it all collects here in the bin, and you can see it spinning round. Now, a lot of people think that diesel is better for the environment than petrol. In actual fact, it's not. They still give out dangerous fumes, but all that might end if we start using one of these gizmos here. It's called a cyclonic exhaust filter and it's attached to this diesel van. Now you for your sins over the last half an hour have been driving round and round Stepper's Bush. So can we have a look at what you've collected down in this filter? Yes, well, I'll just take the collector off. And down here we've collected, well, certainly an egg cup full oh, of nasty soot and acid. That is disgusting. Can I just, I've got this handkerchief here, just, that is awful. So what would happen to all that if it hadn't have been inside this filter? Well, normally you'd be breathing it in. That's what you're breathing it in on the road. On your clothes, on your car, everywhere. Yes, it's revolting. Foul. Isn't it? This thing doesn't look very, um, very practical, sort of stuffed on the end like this. Well, yes, normally it would be in the silencer. Yeah. And it would be collecting the, the dust by centrifugal force within there, in the container here, and the clean air would be coming out at the end of the machine. But it won't be this size, will it, when it's... No, it'll be it smaller than this, more compact. What do the manufacturers think of it? Well, they quite like it, but uh, they're not doing anything about it. Are steps being taken to do anything about it? Well, no, unfortunately, we need to pass some laws so that people are forced to fit it.